Hi, it's Jeff from discoverdoublebass.com. That's the home of online video double bass lessons. And there's also a whole bunch of string reviews over there. And I'm doing one today for Tomastic Infeld's Spiracore Vike set, which is the light gauge Spiracore string kindly provided for me uh, by Tomastic. So big thanks for sending these across. Um, I'm gonna do some playing examples, both pizzicato and arco, and let you know how I've got on with these strings on my bass. So let's get into it. So Tomastic Spiracore are the string which really all of the strings are judged against. They're a very traditional set that have been around for ages and if you've listened to any recordings by bass players such as Ray Brown, uh, Dave Holland, there's a whole bunch of you know, wonderful players who will have used Spiracores. Pretty much every jazz bass player at some point will have played a double bass with Spiracore strings on. I'm a big fan of the light gauge, the Vikes, which are the ones I'm trying out today. And I know that Ray Brown at the end of his career uh, used this set. There are also some really amazing uh, modern players, such as Marco Panacea, um, who use these and get a great sound from them. Now, they're a bit brighter than um, many of the uh, synthetic strings that are out there, such as uh, the Eva Parazzi, which uh, I often play. Um, so they cut through the mix a little bit more and they've got great kind of clarity of tuning. They're really, you can really hear, you can really hear exactly what's going on under the left hand. Now, one of the things that people talk about are because they're quite bright, it can mean that they're a bit more challenging with the bow than say a full orchestral string like um, Tomastic Bel Canto, which is a great uh, orchestra set. But I found that the Vite gauge set that I'm using now actually start really easily and I like the clarity of pitch. So let's, let's hear how they sound, just the open string. They all sort of start fairly cleanly, I don't have any problems with these. I think they've got a really singing quality that I like and there's a lot of clarity, I can really hear what I'm playing. very well. I think they're a fantastic kind of string under the bow. They might be a little bit bright if you're playing in an orchestra section, but I actually really like them. Also, pizzicato, they're just terrific. They've got a really classic kind of tone. Yeah, they're really, they're a really nice kind of sounding, um, sounding pizzicato string. I like the clarity that you get from them. You can really play quite quietly and still hear all of the uh, all of the notes under the fingers, and especially if you're playing chords. So, for instance, um, Another thing to consider when you're choosing strings is how long they last. And the great thing about Spiracore and other metal core, steel core kind of strings is that they last for years and they generally sound better, in my opinion, over time. I find that a new set of Spiracore strings is too bright and it takes a little bit of playing, maybe a couple of weeks, just to settle down. And I've really enjoyed hearing that with my playing whilst I've had these on my bass. So sort of bear that in mind that these strings will improve and they will literally last for years and years and years. You could probably do a decade's worth of playing and I'm sure there are many bass players who've done more than that. 
Whereas a synthetic string is likely to need to be changed, I don't know, maybe annually, uh, as they lose their brightness and eventually become too dull. With Spiracore, they just kind of mellow down, but you can keep the strings on for years, which is a really nice uh, kind of benefit. So yeah, fantastic string. I've really enjoyed having them on my bass for the last month. I've done a whole range of different gigs, some using the bow, uh, amplified, uh, pizzicato gigs. They've worked great. I really like the way that they feel under the left and right hands. There's not too much tension on my bass and the clarity of pitch is really appealing. It helps me play more in tune when I can hear uh, better what I'm actually playing. Anyway, that was my experience. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm sure that many of you will have played spiral strings at some point in the past. So jump into the comments, let me know how you got on. Keep practicing hard and I'll see you next time.